Hey, welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful morning here in the Antelope Valley and uh, we're gonna go flying today. And I've got her out ready to go. The uh, objective for today is um, we need to fly test card number six. And that is uh, um, basically uh, stalls straight ahead, power off. And so uh, got to figure out where the stall buffet is and where it actually where the stall actually breaks and by gaining that information we're going to be able to uh, figure out you know uh, what the uh, appropriate speed is um, for me in the pattern right now I've been flying with high margins which is understandable and I've been actually spending quite a bit of time I mean, I could have gotten the probably card six a lot earlier, but the very last time I flew before I sent my prop in was actually the first time I departed the airport and went out to the practice area, which is out that way, um, out over the uh, uh, what's called the poppy fields. It wasn't a very good poppy season this year, but um, poppy fields nonetheless. So uh, I'm going to go out, um, get a feel for for the new prop, see how everything's uh, handling. Um, really just kind of take my time, probably do some Dutch rolls on the way out there, maybe do some some S turns and just kind of get comfortable uh, in the plane and then we'll do uh, we'll do some stalls and figure out where where those speeds are. And so yeah, let me get uh, let me get in the plane. Get things rolling here. Ground experimental 364 Delta Tango is with you at golf intersection, ready to taxi with information November. Experimental 364 Delta Tango, Fox Ground, runway 24, taxi via Alpha Alpha 7. Taxi 24 via Alpha Alpha 7, 364 Delta Tango.
All right, so that was actually a pretty good flight. Um, as I said, when I was coming in there, um, I, I needed to carry a little extra speed in the uh, landing because I noticed um, the airspeed bled off pretty fast once I got down, uh, backed off the throttle, kind of uh, entering into the flare. So, And that probably shows up on the video. Um, I'll, we'll find out, but uh, I needed to add a little bit of power um, just to keep that speed up. And that's nice, nice to know actually what uh, um, what my stall speed is <laughs> that, that was probably the best part the best part of the flight what other than just being beautiful out there uh, just flying around in the valley um, just enjoying being there and um, yeah it was just amazing but you know 10 knots of wind is not something uh, it might have even been 12 when I was coming in I'm not sure but it's just new I haven't done that yet the plane doesn't seem to care. It uh, it actually maybe lands even a little bit better with a little wind. I, I my least favorite is when the tower tells me that it's light and bearable. I hate that because you never know if it's coming from your tail or your nose, and four knots can make a huge difference. So, um, yeah. So anyway, um, thanks for going along today. Um, oh yeah, note note on the prop. Um, you know, I, I would like to say that uh, I'm completely satisfied with the prop change, um, but that's just not the case. So I reported my numbers to Dominic, and uh, I may have seen um, a little better climb rate. I'm, as I mentioned before, I definitely had more um, RPMs, but I'm not really sure those RPMs were really doing anything for me. Uh, in the flight um, because I, I climbed up to about 2,500 feet AGL on my way out to the practice area to do my stall test and uh, 
tried to do some more climbing after the test and you know the engine was up to temperature you know um, the oil uh, yeah the uh, oil temperature was getting up to um, about 190 and then as soon as I would like level off and fly a little bit it was dropping down to 170 but but for most of the climb out and and out there it was like 190 when I finished um, when I finished that uh, test period uh, it just didn't want to climb very well and so uh, and actually the airspeed went from in cruise mode it went from uh, 55 what it was doing with the old 56 inch prop actually down to 52 with this prop so um, we still got some work to do on the prop and um, not exactly sure where we'll end up but anyway give Dominic all the numbers and we'll figure out uh, where to go from there and probably it's something tells me we're going to be doing a complete uh, complete new prop build but anyway uh, yeah it is what it is and it's part of flight testing I mean uh, you know if you're going to put this on a Hummel which is much lighter a whole lot cleaner um, it's going to perform completely different same engine same prop than on a Mini Max which has a lot of drag and um, all that so I mean you know as you know I'm up around five around 560 with fuel and me and the plane so it's a little heavier um, and uh, yeah but we'll work through it and whatever it is whatever it turns out to be the solution will be the solution and um, that's just the way it goes with flight testing and when you build your own plane um, uh, so there's some predictable results with certain combinations but uh, this one uh, there aren't a lot of uh, 45 horsepower minimaxes flying around there's there were some that I found on online um, but and there's may still be some out there but sort of in sort of unknown territory but that's okay uh, everything went uh, really well and I hope you enjoy the video and as uh, well let's see I hope you enjoyed the video it's over now at this point since <laughs> this is the outro and I will uh, I'll catch you guys later